Hello everyone, my name is Nishri and uh, I am here to talk about my book Whispers of Budgie today. Uh, before I start, I have a little question for you. When was the last time you appreciated a homemaker for doing the same monotonous tasks days on days, months on months, 24-7 all the year round? Do you think it's easy? I would say no, it's not. Having lived a life of homemaker for six plus years now, I have realized that doing the same tasks without any variation and then all your efforts going unnoticed, unrecognized and unappreciated is the biggest demotivating thing that a human can face. So uh, it is equally, uh, I would say, demotivating to uh, be confined to the same to-do list for days and days. Uh, this book, Whispers of Bhaji, is solely dedicated to 60% of women. Uh, this statistics is specifically about India, so I'll be talking about 60% of women in India who are uh, exposed to be engaged in uh, home course for, uh, for full time, like like we proudly call ourselves a full-time woman, a working woman. So this, I would say, is a full-time woman who is engaged in daily course. And uh, mind you, this is the most active age bracket, which starts from 15 and ends to 59. So there are multiple reasons to this, first of all. It can be some health issues. It can be embracing motherhood. It can be uh, a conservative family or it can be a well-to-do family so a woman's career as far as is considered is only uh, considered as an additional financial uh, you know income that comes to the family but for a woman it's much more than that because she's using her skills to the optimum when she's working what and she's doing what she likes so a lot being said and heard and written uh, about homemakers, I with this book, I am trying to make an attempt uh, to make homemakers feel better and a guilt-free life. Now, uh, I would like to talk a little more about the title of this book, which is The Whispers of a Bachi. So, uh, the title nowhere conveys you that the book is dedicated to homemakers. And I would like to so, throw a special light on that as well. Because uh, a budgie is a very colorful, pretty, and you know, well-groomed bird, which is caged for its entire life, which is not allowed to fly. And uh, with this title, I'm trying to relate the plea of the woman, the homemaker, who is not allowed to use her skills with the budgie. So whenever she is, uh, is upset or sad, whatever she whispers to herself is what is there in this book. This book has 15 stories and uh, all of all the stories are like uh, from her daily life, small incidents, like her own child not respecting her. It's, it's a very small thing, you know, for the other family members, but then it hurts when your own child does not respect your choices. And uh, the name of the character around which the story rotates, the name is Anamika. Anamika is a Hindi name. And in Hindi, Anamika means nameless. Again, the reason of choosing this name is uh, whatever good that a homemaker does is never given the credit. So her name does not come anywhere. All the members in the family, you know, fluently and smoothly go to work without any tension of the course that might happen or not at the home. That's because of this Anamika and many more Anamikas that are there in this world. So one of the incidents that uh, this book narrates is, uh, I would like to read that incident. Uh, so here Anamika has a joint family wherein she's living with her in-laws. She has a daughter and she's living with her husband as well. So <clears throat> The story goes like, piping hot idlis steaming on one stove of gas, milk boiling on the other. Anamika standing in front of the kitchen platform, chopping vegetables, which would go for lunch. Microwave taking its sweet time to bake the cookies for evening tea. Riti, 
who is eight year old daughter of Anamika and uh, Shekhar. They are sitting on the dining table having their breakfast. And Anamika calls out her mommy, says, Mama, where is my EVS project? Shekhar says, Anamika, it's my special presentation today. Where is my time? Checking each drawer of the cupboard, Shekhar is totally frustrated because he's not able to find his time. And then Anamika says, it's there on the pillow on your side of the bed. Her sound was too low as the couple just whistled. Her reply was unheard. She kept it ready on the pillow so that Shekhar did not have to struggle and lose his temper to find that time. It was a big day for him and he had his important presentation. He had worked hard on that project and today was the day to present it. Even on a normal day, Anamika makes it a point that all the amenities Shekhar requires before leaving for office are ready. Laptop and phone are charged, clothes are well ironed, wallet and handkerchief are kept ready on the table. So Anamika has been doing this work for years and years and this unpaid hard work is never taken into account. This, this and many more 15 stories are a part of this book and uh, the feedbacks that I have received for this book are very heart touching because uh, one of my very close school friend called me up after reading this book and she just burst into tears because she was so much able to relate to it because these are daily incidents that women face in their life. And uh, now with all the due permission, I would like to give the credits to those who have been a part of this journey. All the illustrations in this book are surprisingly done by a nine-year-old girl named Hunar. Her name is Hunar and uh, she is in Delhi. I'm in Pune right now. But we connected through social media and she has done a fabulous job in bringing Anamika to life with her drawings. Uh, another friend of mine with whom I have been discussing this book in and out while writing it is uh, Surekha Pandit Vernekar. She is in Goa and uh, we, uh, we kind of collectively decided to write on this topic because we were sailing in the same boat and uh, we were in need of a self-help book for, for homemakers. Unfortunately, we did not find one, so we ended up making one. And uh, that's how the journey has been. I would like to thank both of them to be uh, an integral part of this book because, because of them, this book has been possible. Sukhada, uh, Surekha has also helped me in entitling this book. The whole concept of Bhaji is her brainchild, I would say. And uh, here is an open letter, which is an excerpt from the book that I would like to read for everyone. Everyone, irrespective of being a homemaker or a woman or a mother, it, this letter applies to everyone. Dear reader, if you have reached this page of the book, congratulations. Please relax and breathe. Hope all your buddies find their way to heaven as soon as possible. If you're looking to start something new and it looks messy right now, still keep going. Not everything is sorted since the beginning. Some things take their own sweet time to get sorted. It's okay to be slow. It is okay to be silly. It is okay to commit mistakes and try a new approach to reach the same destination. Yes, these things are all okay and totally valid. Nothing and no one in this world is perfect. Not even the ones who pretend. We all are sailing in the same boats, facing different storms, riding on different tides. But no one, ex no one is exempted. So it is okay to fall, fumble, stumble, trip and goof up. No one has it all. Majorly, it all depends on the way at what you see. Because if you consider what you have is all, then you have it all. You'll never be enough for others unless you care, your, care for yourself. That way, you're confident in yourself and otherwise, no one leaves a chance of belittling you. Do not lose your real self 
in a quest to keep meeting others' expectations. Do not let their comments or views of you bog you down. You have got only one life. Live it the way you wish to and do not forget to leave a legacy behind. These are the things said and heard so many times, but let's be the change maker and be the chain breaker. Let's stop it to ourselves and refrain from passing it to the future generations. Let's be the pioneers or in breaking the cycle. This is the last page of the book. If you buy the book, you will get to read this letter. And this is the first time I am reading it because all the readers who have bought this book, I have read the excerpts many, many times, but this is the first time I've read this open letter. And uh, thank you. That's all I would like to say. <laughs>